Hello, in this video we will take a look at how to apply correct color usage. Now let's take a look at what are theme colors. Theme colors are colors that are set directly in the slide master and they are customized to reflect the client's selected colors for the template. You can see theme colors by clicking to some shapes or text and then you can just go to this drop menu for the colors and here you can see the theme colors that are at the top. Now let's take a look closer on how we set the colors in our guidelines. So in our client's guidelines uh, is usually a slide where the colors are defined which colors to use and in uh, what order, what hierarchy. So usually you can see terms such as the main color, secondary colors, highlight color, text color, text box, fill color, or more rarely you can meet with something like some exception color used for some specific element or similar. It's not always you will have all of these uh, categories defined, but it should always be clear which colors to use. In here you can see another variation of how colors could be defined in the guidelines. So this slide basically shows the same information and as the previous slide, but it is uh, shown directly at the team colors uh, screenshot. Plus additionally here you can see that some colors are also crossed out and it is written there that we should not use them at all. So that's another information you can get that some colors are just not allowed to use. Now let's uh, explain these different categories, what they actually mean. So main color is uh, the main color of the template usually used for the headings. So if we have field style of the heading box, then it's the fill color or otherwise it can be the underline of the heading. Uh, main color is also used usually for bullet points, but it depends on the client's guidelines. We use this color also for icons or shapes where icons are placed at and similar. So all these main elements of the slide. Then secondary color is color that is uh, addition to the main color. So we use it for subheadings uh, by the secondary color. We show multiple levels in a structure. Again, it can be as well used to the icons or shapes connected to some secondary levels and so on. Text box color is the color that we apply for the, for the fill of the shape with the body text. So it's not heading or subheading, so it would be box just like this one. Text color is color used for the text in the main body. Text color for the dark box, such as dark heading box as we can see in here, is usually white as a default, so you might not find that defined in the guidelines because it's just logical that if we have a dark box the text will have white color. Highlight color is the color that creates focus on some text shape or area. Highlight color should be used based on the main input and should be specifically applied on the highlighted element. So either you can see from the slide itself that there is already some highlighted item or you need to have good understanding of the slide. For example, if some text says this is a main message of the slide, then that might be good element to highlight, but it has to have a meaning that something should be highlighted. We really create the focus on some element by that. Therefore, highlight color should not be overused or used for regular elements. Exception colors. As I said, this is something you might see more rarely, but it might be some color defined for some very special cases. For example, red for some cons and green for pros or something similar. Graph, graph colors. For some clients, you just apply regular main and secondary, secondary colors, but some clients have more closely defined graph colors or even order which they uh, should be used in. So therefore always check if there are some more uh, colors defined next to the graph rules. Then one term you could also meet with is traffic light colors, which is actual colors of traffic lights, so green, yellow and red. 
So now how to apply the colors to the slide elements. So here we have example where we can see exact logic of how the categories were explained. So we have main color applied for the main heading, secondary color for subheading. Then we have selected color from secondary colors that goes well with the other colors for this part. Then we have text box fill color, which is white. We also fulfill the text color, which should be dark. As you can see in here, we have the white color of the text because of um, creating good contrast between the dark box and the white text. But in here, if we would select white color, the contrast would be very low. Therefore, therefore we again use the original dark text color. And here we have example of the highlight color. In the graph, you can also see that we have main and secondary color and highlight color. So this has to mean that this third series should be highlighted. If it should not be highlighted, we should use another of the secondary colors. Now we will go through main mistakes that we see reoccurring regarding the color usage, and we will also show examples for them. So first mistake is that you are not following color scheme correctly. So it might mean that when you have the guidelines color, that maybe you just disregard the rules uh, that are described and you just use colors that you like that are not the main or secondary colors, but you just use whatever random colors from the color team. Or it can also be case where you do not use the primary colors first. So we recommend always to use these top colors. So for example, if you choose some secondary color, it should be first one this rather than the shades. Only if you really need extra colors, then you should reach to, to these other shades of the colors. But try to use as a primarily colors the ones from the top line. There are some exceptions like for the gray color, which we often use this first one, the lightest gray one. But again, it depends on the client's guidelines. Another mistake is applying wrong hierarchy of colors. So let's take a look at example. As you can see, the main heading is gray, but then the side categories that are not the main message are, are the dark. So the hierarchy is off. It does not follow also guidelines. So in here is the correct hierarchy. So it logically also brings attention first to the main point, then the second main and so on. Another mistake is overuse of highlight color. So we have to ask ourselves, where is the focus if highlight is really everywhere? So let's take a look the, uh, at this case where we have an input uh, slide that looks like this. And this is a wrong example of how a uh, highlight color is applied wrongly. As a viewer of the presentation, if I would see this slide, I would not be sure where to focus. It seems like focus is kind of everywhere. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure where to look at first or what is really the key of this slide. Uh, but what would be the correct example? Uh, would be this case where we apply the guidelines colors, but we keep the highlight color only for, for this box, which really is the key message. And it was very clear from the input because it was red. But even if this box is not red, if we have correct understanding of the slide, because we can read, so we can see this is the key message in here, we can still apply the highlight because it makes sense. Another mistake is uh, choosing colors that have uh, too low contrast between each other or using colors that do not really work well together. So let's take a look at examples. Again, here you can see it is very low contrast. It would be most probably hard to read this from bigger distance from the screen. Uh, it's not only contrast between the, let's say, white text or white icon and the very light purple, but also low contrast between the background of the slide and the light purple, and also here the gray text on the 
white background. It's very hard to read. In here is very similar example of that. Now, this would be the good contrast. So as you can see, it's very easy to read the white text on the dark background. Also, the same goes for the icon. In here, we have dark, dark text and white background. And for this particular box where we have lighter purple color, we have selected dark text. So we have enforced the, the contrast. So again, it is uh, easy to read, but again, it's also kind of color coordinated because we selected the color that is applied for the icon in here. Now here is example of the colors that are clashing together. So as you can see, there are just some colors that do not work well together. And for this, you need to have a bit of designer's eye to, to have this um, visual sense of what looks uh, good together. So these are quite bright colors. They clash together. Also, another issue is that the readability of the text is not really good. For example, even though the yellow is very bright color, it does not work with uh, with white text because it's very hard to read it. And the same goes for here. The bright blue and the dark just does not work together. Therefore, these are color combinations that we should not use. You can always uh, see client's inspiration file and see what kind of color combinations are mostly used because those are selected probably because they go well together. So try to really go through all the materials so you see what are the good combinations of the colors that client uses frequently. Another mistake is making slides too monotonous or overly colorful. So this is a case of very monotonous slide. It's almost black and white. So there is not, uh, it doesn't look very alive. But in here we have overly colorful slides. So there are many colors applied. It's a bit chaotic. Not sure what is the hierarchy, where to focus. It's just very colorful. So this would be another not good example. Now let's take a look at the correctly colored slides. So in here we just use main color and secondary color to create a little bit more uh, color difference but still it's very clean looking maybe if we want something bring some splash of the color we could also go for option like this where we use a secondary color just for some additional details around the icons or similar or we could also go for a more colorful slide but in very tasteful way in here, we can see we have only four items and we uh, carefully select colors. So they almost create this gradient effect. So they very well go, go together. And uh, yeah, also the order of them is selected quite nicely. So they, they kind of match with each other. Uh, this style, of course, you would not apply if there is 20 items because then you would need to use many, many colors. It would again be overly colorful and very chaotic. So this needs to be applied again with some sense. And the last mistake is setting the colors manually instead of applying them directly from the team colors or using slightly different shades of the colors than the one defined, defined by the guidelines. So now let's take a look at what we mean by that. So in here we have example. Uh, so this is sometimes what we can see that the colors are added either manually, maybe by setting RGB code or just using the eyedropper tool and maybe selecting not the correct color. And then you keep using these colors instead of the correct ones directly from the team colors. So this is correct. These uh, should not be really used unless there is good specific reason for them. So now let's recap best practices regarding the colors. Follow guideline colors and template color team. Apply correct hierarchy of the colors. Do not overuse the highlight color. Make sure colors have optimal contrast and do not clash with each other. Find the balance in the coloring. Uh, 
do not do too monotonous slide, but also not overly colorful one. View client's inspiration file to see what are usual color combinations that client uses. And use colors right from the template color team. Do not add new colors unless there is a specific reason discussed with your admin. I hope this was useful and you could uh, learn something more about the color usage. Thank you for watching.